I'm in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Since this machine, this split force came, it's rained all but about four days. And now next week, as far as I know, it's supposed to be going to the next place that's going to be demoing it. And if I'm lucky, I'll get the chance to, to get it there. It's going to a friend of mine's place, actually. It's kind of cool. But I've got to get these logs, these oversized stuff, split up while it's here. I'm going to make use of it while I have it. So what I've done this morning is I've loaded my processor deck. So when I get a downpour here this morning, I'll be able to go underneath the roof over there and finish uh, filling that trailer because I've got two cords to deliver today. And I should be able to get some of this oversized stuff um, cleaned up. So you guys can follow along. I'm just going to just keep busting up rounds. That's my my job today with the split force. So, and when it rains too hard for me to be comfortable out here working, I'm going to go underneath that roof over there to work. So that's what today's project is going to be. Probably see a time lapse. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll figure it all out.
gives me two thirds of a cord. Oh, 22 minutes, something like that. So I'm gonna go collect. See, way over there is where the rest of my wood is. And I'm almost out of wood. It's uh, very anxiety producing, I think, in my opinion, to see I'm down to about eight or 10 cords or something there in a pile. I like to see 40, 50, 80 cords. Plus, I still have some of this oversized stuff I, I'm busting up with the split force when it stops raining. And it's just uh, drizzling a bit now, not enough to stop me from working, that's for sure. But it's not comfortable, that's for certain. I'm going to turn the camera and show you this mess I got behind me. What the heck am I going to do with this mountain of cookies? There's, I'm going to guess, not less than six cords of wood in here. And it just goes on and on and on all around. It's about... Uh, Oh, about 40 feet around at the base, I would say. About 12 feet tall in the middle. It's hard to tell on the camera, of course, but no, it might not be that, that high. Eight feet tall. But anyway, I got to do something with it. I did have somebody wanting to come and get, you know, a pickup truck load, and that'd just be a dent, but at least it would be a help. So once again, I'm going to use time lapse to save memory on my camera. I'm just going to set you somewhere on the processor under the rain to the rain under the roof and I'm going to load the deck with another two-thirds of a cord and we'll fill, finish filling this trailer and I'll see what the rest of my morning looks like. I've got to get that one cord delivered but I want to take advantage of using the split force. I'm so torn because it's both are equally as fun to operate especially where all the big stuff is already blocked up. My uh, oversized stuff is all my friend Jamie blocked it all up or what I blocked up the other day I put you know maybe three cords or something I had to block up and we've got that just about all processed and put together but it's uh I'm torn between playing with that processor that splitter which isn't going to be here for much longer another maybe another week guessing and this one here of course is here all the time so I don't want to not take advantage of using this big behemoth machine but uh all that to say is I'm going to be out of wood, I think, before the spring weight restrictions are off. And then I'll be forced to do the oversized stuff, but I might not have that split force to do it. I'll be using my split fire, which is still an awesome machine. I'm not complaining at all. I've got, I've got the right tools for this job. Just that one's a cool tool. That's all there is to that. <clears throat> this customer's getting four cords of wood and normally I would deliver it in my, just two trips in my two cord trailer. However, their driveway's pretty compact and I just don't think that I'll be able to get in there comfortably and put the, the wood where they want it anyway. So I'm gonna make four trips. It's not that far away. I've got some other errands to do in that direction. So. So we'll get this flaked over the top of the trailer so that we know we have a cord. They want it a little coarser than normal. And they want a half a load, which is two cords of coarsely split wood and two cords of finely split wood. And I call the coarse stuff the nighttime pieces. So you guys know what I'm talking about here, I'm sure. Anyway, that's enough of this video. You can see today is one of those torn, I'm chasing weather and I want to play with two different toys. And because that split force 1116T is going to be going uh, probably next week. So I want to use it as much as I can. So. All right. That's it for now, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.